Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do only Aries readings. Today I am going to be doing a reading for you and your person, okay? We're going to take a look at how you feel about each other, what may have happened or transpired, good or bad, doesn't have to be bad. Um, what do you want? What do they want? And what the outcome could possibly be? Because you know everyone has free will. And at any given time, you can change your mind. They can change their mind. You can change your actions. And they can change their actions. Okay? So, we're just going to look at possible outcomes. Um, before I get started, I just want to let you know if you're new here, welcome. I have a... I keep wanting to call it a challenge. I have a giveaway. Giveaway. I got to get that word down. I have a giveaway. I will be giving away this moon, not this one, but a new Moonology deck. All you have to do to enter is leave a comment below and let me know that you would like to enter. You only have one entry this month. Next month, if you stick around, there will be multiple entries. Um, I will let you know that you've been entered with a green check mark. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified when I post the video that will be announcing the winner on January 31st. So you have plenty of time to enter if you have not. Um, every month I will do this giveaway and every month it'll probably be something different. Anything from a tarot deck, oracle deck, sage, palo santo. Um, I have something special next month for Valentine's Day that I'm putting together myself. Um, so be different, interesting. And again, thank you to all my new subscribers. You are greatly appreciated. Um, that is all. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. All right, I will be using the light seers deck. Okay. This, I mean, you could be, I was going to say this is not a singles reading, but most times you guys are single and y'all are still dealing with someone, but so then you're not really single. You know, people always get on here and they're like, Oh, I want a new love reading. I want a single reading. And you know damn well you're still hooking up with somebody that you have no business hooking up with them and you wonder why they keep coming up, okay? Sometimes it could be this person just really hasn't let go of you and maybe, possibly, possibly you haven't let go of them. But we'll see. This reading is for people who know they are involved with someone. It doesn't have to be a actual relationship. It could be a situationship, entanglement, whatever y'all are doing. We're just going to see who is the person who is on your mind. All right. Holy Spirit, Spirit, guys, and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message for the sign of Aries. Let's see. How do you feel about this person, Aries? I'm going to do Aries over here, the other person over here. It could be vice versa. We'll see. All right. All right. We have the Knight of Cups. And the Two of Swords. So Aries, you still have feelings for this person. I feel like you still have love for this person. But they put you in compromising situations before. They keep you confused. They keep you almost entangled i mean this card she's like literally wrapped up with the crows and everything like that so it's like they keep you in the dark this person like you really have love for them and you've given them love but they kind of come in and out of your life a lot um and so you never really know the truth you never really know what's going on and they really keep you confused and and looks like in a little bit of drama Okay, really waiting for them to get their act together. But I don't know. You're feeling like you want to take control of this situation, maybe even wrap it up because of the drama. But we'll see. Like We'll see. Because you do have love for them. Let's see how they feel about you. How does this person feel about Aries? Wow. So you have love for them. Ow, it's sitting on my leg. You have love for them and they have a lot of love for you with the nine of cups. You are their wish fulfillment. Oops. Okay. 
you fill all their cups. You make them feel good. You make them feel like the best version of themselves, okay? They're ready for like to jump from joy and to tell, like scream from the mountaintops how much they love you, Aries. They really do, okay? They really do. And it looks like that they are even willing maybe possibly to be working on themselves in order to make this situation work. So maybe whatever they've done in the past, they've realized their mistakes and they're ready to see what they can do to fix this, okay? Because again, maybe you have them waiting, all right? Let's see. Well, let's see. Let's take a look what happened from your perspective. What happened here, Aries? Okay, so we have the Magician here and the Six of Wands. Again, still feeling like this person was in and out of your life a lot. They kept you waiting. We have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right. <clears throat> And I feel like, Aries, you just wanted this situation to work out, but this person may have been a little manipulative in the past, okay? We're going to clarify. You really wanted victory with this person. You wanted success. Possibly even to go the distance. Let's see what happened on their part, but it looks like they were playing games. To me, honestly, you guys wanted each other. You really do. With the King of Pentacles here, I feel like this person really wanted a commitment with you. They had a lot of passion with you. I don't see anything that's alarming here other than this Eight of Swords. I feel like they did walk in and out of your life a lot and they kind of kept you guessing and waiting because we have the hangman here. Um, they felt like really, you know, I really want to say this. They felt like they were the catch. And I'm not saying that they're not. They're not wrong for feeling that way. Um, but maybe they made you jump through a few hoops. Like, you know, say that this was, I mean, either way, man or female. Because men need to know their worth and females need to know their worth as well. But I felt like this person made you jump through more hoops than you needed to. Okay. Um, so now, let's see. What do you want to transpire in this situation? We have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. Aries, I feel like you're tired of the games, right? You're tired of waiting. You're kind of just like getting the hell out of Dodge. Like you're dipping, okay? And you are chasing your own happiness. I feel like you're putting yourself first. Whatever makes you happy, you're chasing your stability. You're tired of arguing about it. You're tired of chasing this person. So now you're literally running away. Let's see. What do they want to happen here? Maybe this is like a runner chaser kind of situation. Ooh, yeah. This person does not want to be single. Doesn't at all. Okay. We have the nine of swords and we have the nine of pentacles. Okay. This person in reverse, it came out in reverse and put it up right here. But this person is stressed. Okay. They don't even like the idea of you being single. Um, they know what they had now. Okay. They might not have then, and I feel like they did, but this person might have had some ego problems. Okay. The thought of you being single really stresses them out. Like they don't want to see you with anybody else. Um, like they really feel rejected. Are they still being honest with you? I don't know if they're still being honest with you or not with the seven of swords here. Okay. Still could be possibly playing some sort of mind games. Do they have love for you? Yeah. 
They really do. They, you know, they see you as they see you as the king of wands. They see you as, you know, the shit. I mean, I couldn't think of anything else to say at the point. But I mean, what? Who isn't? You know, sexy, vibrant, exciting. Um, they know other people want you, male or female. They know you're a catch. But you know what I really feel like happened? I felt like this person was insecure in their own skin. They were insecure in their, their, their selves. They know they had a good person. They knew they had someone who was worthy of attention from not only them, but everyone else. So they had some ego issues. They were kind of ego tripping. So they had to make themselves feel bigger than you. Um, ego tripping. You know what I'm saying? Ego tripping. Like they would do things maybe like run so you could chase them. Because that made them feel like <clears throat> they were worth something. When really you have to find your worth within yourself. That's not how you get validation. Let's see what the Knight of Cups is. Wow, the Knight of Cups is the Ace of Cups. So you were ready to really give it all, Aries. You really fell hard for this person, okay? I feel like they were in and out kind of sort of thing, but you were ready to offer them your cup. Two of Swords, this person really put you through some sort of torment. We have the Two of Swords in the tower, and then we have the Two of Swords again. And then I see the Queen of Cups under there. So this person really kept you confused, okay? Um, they really did, like one moment they were all over you, the next minute they were all over someone else. They were in and out kind of situation. Yep, there's the Knight, the knight of Swords here. <clears throat> they played mind games, mental games, until really... It all came crashing down. Let's see what the Nine of Cups. It's like they brought a, they brought drama to your life. They brought confusion. They brought problems. Like I feel like Aries, you were the type of person who kept a peaceful life with this person, and you were willing to to put up with it as well because you had so much feelings for this person. You were willing to put up with the mess and the chaos that they brought to your life. Here we go with the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups again. This person sees you as their wish fulfillment and they're really willing to do whatever it takes to work on this because they know it's not going to get any better than this, okay? So we have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. They're now there. They feel like you were a gift, all right? You balance them. And they may have never felt like this with anybody before. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. The Two of Cups under here as well. All right. You were like a soulmate to them. They have a lot of love for you still. Let's see what happened here in your side. The Magician. Yeah. This person played big mind games with you. With the, the Magician and the King of Pentacles here. Like... There's an expression <laughs> where they say they talk cash money shit, okay? Um, that's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Sorry, I'm from New Orleans, but yeah. Okay, let's see the Six of Wands. Yeah, this person really had a big ego, okay? They came in and out of your life, made you really sad, made you really just kind of doubting yourself. Um, it felt like every time you turned around, you were dealing with some sort of emotional bullshit with this person because they really liked you to chase them. Okay, this is somebody who had a lot of insecurity issues. And again, they were in and out playing these games, but they know 
that you were their happiness, okay? It sucks when people do that. They play these kind of mental games. They need to get help, really, seriously. When people do this kind of stuff, it's really deeper than the relationship. It's something that they need assistance with up here, okay? They play these mind games with you, and they put you through this, this turmoil over and over and over again, okay? Lying, being deceitful, you know, it, it's bad energy. So anyways, let's see, the King of Pentacles. I feel like at time this person would ghost you, okay, with the King of Pentacles and the Nine, I mean, and the Hermit, okay? Like I said, they made themselves feel really important, um, even maybe more than what they really were, okay? And they would come in and out, and there's the Four of Cups, yep, and the Five of Pentacles, so Spirit's confirming. This person did kind of ghost you sometimes. Let's see what the King, Queen of Wands... And it, it's so confusing here. It's so conflicting. This reading is so conflicting because they would do things like that to you. But this, we have the King of Cups here with the Queen of Wands. They know they had some, let me say like this. This person, um, and this could be two different people here, but it, it, not feeling that. This person had a lot of, it was like they were afraid of their emotions. That's what I'm going to say. It, they were afraid of how much they loved you. And I think maybe they might have even told you that before that they've never. And, you know, some people are like, oh, they say that. But when you looked in their eyes and they told you that, you believed them because you could see it was true. Like they've never loved anybody like they loved you. And because they were such an unhealthy person, it scared them. And uh, usually when situations like that happen, you almost kind of become like a punching bag, so to speak, not physically, I'm not saying they hit you, but they take their emotions out on you and they don't know how to handle them. So this is why they would ghost you sometimes, not justifying it. It's very wrong because you have to grow up and be an adult and handle your situations, but they didn't know how. They were never too far away. You know, they were always lurking with the page of swords here. <clears throat> Let's see. What do you want to happen with the nine of swords? Yeah, you're just ready to kind of flee from this situation. Aries with the Knight of Swords and the Star card. You're ready to go off and just kind of heal. Because this is, in case you didn't know, this is kind of like an emotional abuse. And you feel really strongly about your happiness and your stability. You spent a long time putting this person's needs and emotions first. You're really just determined to move forward, okay? The, Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords. And the hair fin. The nine of swords and the hair fin. This person is stressed out because now they want a real commitment. Now they want, you know, to put you in your place, okay, where you've all where you should have always been. But now they want to tell the world that, hey, I want to be with this person and I want a solid commitment with this person, even though they were playing buku games before. the death card the nine of pentacles they can't take the thought of you being single they want you know they want their family back if they had a family if they had kids with you if they had some sort of foundation the ten of cups and the temperance here they really just want to heal this with you and they want to move forward but they do not like being single they do not like being without you okay I'm going to pull the Romance Angel first. With the Seven of Swords here, though, I don't know if this person is still... Like, it's like they need to get help. Maybe you've talked about that with them, you know? And if they do... Maybe it might be worth you giving it, but that's not completely up to you. You know what I'm saying? This person could have done some stuff. But I'm not really seeing it here. I just do see that they played some mind games with you. And everybody, I'm not saying they're not worth forgiving because you should forgive everybody, whether you stay with them or not. But, you know, spirit's saying it's time is up. 
Release your ex. This time has come to clear your energy. So it's probably best for you to move on. We got love yourself first at the bottom of the deck. Let's see one more card. Let your friends help you. Okay. Ask for and accept support from others. This is not one of those situations where you want to deal with it alone, Aries. Okay. If you do need support from others, if you do need to speak to someone yourself, you should do that. Um, and because we have love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I'm going to leave that there. Oh, look at that. And underneath we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Okay. Your parents. But that could be forgiving anybody. Let's see. Let's pull. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. That's the only way change can happen. Oh, beautiful. That flew out. I don't know if you saw that. The end of a, tight, a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. I think we just had the new moon and Capricorn. So this situation is probably best to go ahead and let it go. Um, but this person is, is like really hurting now. Now they want a relationship with you. Now they want to work on themselves and come back. And they can't stand the thought of you being single. Um, but that's their loss, right? So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to enter the giveaway, please leave a comment below and I will let you know that you've been entered with a green check mark. Thank you guys so much for your support and thank you to all my new subscribers. I'll see you soon. Bye.